Hey everybody, and welcome to my N5 series in the SP404 Mark II, where I cover a topic in about five minutes. This is session 11.9, and I wanted to actually start uh, thinking about how to route some of the effects around and where they're going. So right now, by default, everything's orange. It is all going out to bus one, and from there, let's check EFX settings. We're in type A, so we can have everything go through bus one, or we can route things to kind of skip bus one and go to bus two if we want instead. So I kind of feel like I want everything going, th pretty much everything going through bus one for kind of a, uh, people do the tape, uh, either the cassette effect or the vinyl, the 303 vinyl. But I want to, actually, I should say that wrong. I, w I specifically want this noise sound to go through an effect by itself. So I want that to go to bus one. I want everything else to go to bus two if I want it to go through the effects. But to do that, we need to, actually we want, so we want to be on type A. Type B is in parallel. Do I want this? Is this what I want? I want the, yes. So, because I want everything to go through bus two all the time. I want just the, noise effect to go through bus one. So to do that, what we need to do is you hold the remain button down and uh, we, oh, we're gonna switch to bus two and we wanna turn all of these green because when you, you, you just toggle between no bus or whatever bus you're on. So you wanna be on bus two. So if I wanted this one on bus one for some reason, you need to be on bus one, hold remain and then tap it. In this case, I don't. Uh, C has that noise that we've got. We're going to skip all of these again. We're going to go straight to bus two. Uh, oh, just get all of them because I don't know. Oh, get in there. Promise. Okay, so that gets everything routed to for bank B, D, E, and F. Everything is routed to bus two. For bank C, it's going to bus one first. So and the reason why I want to do this is, uh, I, I don't know, I want to, I think, put like a gated filter on it or something. Let's see what we got here. Slicer's close to what I wanted. Um, I know I've found this before. Uh, is it just super filter? Super filter? Ah, yes, it does. So we could do, do this. Turn sync on. Um, there we go. Sounds kind of fun. Um, I do think... Oh, I do think I don't want 64T. I probably want more like... 18T, 18.16. There we go. That sounds kind of cool. I just want to hear what this sounds like. Why are the drums sound like they're going through that? That doesn't sound quite right to me. <laughs> Shift EFX settings. Why is it doing that? I mean, I can do this, right? No. Is it because I was on bus two when I set that? Probably. So let's fix that. Back to EFX. We have bus one and bus two. <laughs> I now need to turn the, that off. Go back to bus one. Sorry, guys. I'm not trying to be this obtuse. All right. Let's go back. We want sync on 16. Whatever. Okay. Drums are fine. I just had everything. I had everything routed correctly. I just was putting the effect on the wrong spot. So let's now go back to pattern mode. Now I'm just curious what this sounds like with triplets. Um, 
That sounds too slow. I don't know. Kind of like it at 16. All right. Let's go actually to bus two for real this time. Let's try 303. Oh, that definitely hits harder. Level, keep that at 100. Add a little tape noise. A little wild butter. Which I'm going to turn the volume down because this is probably way too loud for my voice. It's because of the compressor. <laughs> um, all right. I'm just going to go for like this full mix. I'm just curious how this sounds. Just trying to see what might sound loud or too loud to me. that the bass, just from what I'm listening, the bass sounds a little high compared to everything else to me. That might be hard to hear based on me kind of dropping the level down here just so you can hear my voice. Um, yeah, I think it's like a hair too high. So, let's see. I think I want to drop it down to probably like 105 maybe for all of these. I'm just guessing. Let's just we'll listen to the pattern real quick. Yeah, that sounds better. I'd probably, if I want to take the time and torture you guys, I would probably go through and drop that more of a that synth sound. I think it could stand to be dropped just a little bit in the mix, but I don't think I'm going to bother. Anyway, I think that's where I'm at for today. Hopefully this uh, kind of helps you guys out. I know I made a couple of mistakes <laughs> on the bus effects here initially. This kind of sounds fun to me. Anyway, take it easy, guys, and uh, keep making music, and we'll talk again soon. Peace.